Hello everyone, I hope that you are having a great time. At this video at LearnTech, I'll show you the safest methods how you can clean your computer cache. I work as system administrator and one of the ways how to troubleshoot different computer problems is by clearing the computer cache. This action that I will show you on this video will improve the computer performance, troubleshoot different issues and for sure it will free you up the computer space. First of all, I will show you how you can clean the temporary files that applications create on the computer during their work. To do that, you are going to go at search and you search for run the desktop app. You can open run also by pressing on your keyboard the window sign and R. And here I'm going to write percentage temp then again percentage press enter these are temporary files that are created from different softwares so it's good idea that when you do the cleanup of these temporary files you close all your applications so we are going to select all the files by pressing ctrl a and then we press with the right of the mouse and we go and select delete if you will see this kind of tab that says this action cannot be completed because the file is open, you just press skip because it could be that this temporary file that we want to delete is related with Microsoft Word in this case. So I'll just press skip. Also for I can press this option here, do this for all current items and press skip. All right, skip. Normally this process will not last a lot, but it depends on the size of the temporary files that you have in your computer. All right, so from all these temporary files that I had, now it's left only these temporary files. The next process that we want to do to clean up the cache of the computer is by cleaning up some temporary files on the drive C where Windows operating system is installed. I'll show you how you can do that. So I'll go at local disk C and press with the right of the mouse and I go at properties. And here I can see this option here, disk cleanup. I'll click on this. Disk cleanup is calculating how much space you will be able to free on C. This will take a couple of minutes. All right, so this cleanup, it's showing me which files I could delete. Here I have setup log files, which I can delete. Normally I will see which files are the biggest files and it is occupying the memory of the computer and I will select them to delete. So in my case, actually the biggest file it looks like is this one recycle bin. Okay, it's quite big, one gigabyte, so I'm just clicking on that because I don't need to save what is on recycle bin. I'll click also this option here, temporary files. I'll keep user file history because I use user file history to recover files that I may lose. I have shown this process in one of the videos on my channel. You can find it on the description of the link. All right, so I'm going to click also delivery optimization files. I don't need that to be saved. You have temporary internet files. This will delete some files that you have in your Internet Explorer or Edge. Not in Google Chrome and Firefox. I'll show you how you can do that on Google Chrome and Firefox. So after I selected the files that I want to be deleted from my computer, I'll press OK. And then it will pop up this tab here that will ask me, are you sure that you want to permanently delete these files? I'll press delete files. And now the process of cleaning up these files from my computer will start. So it's right now it's cleaning the recycle bin and the temporary files that I selected to erase. All right, so this process is done. We'll move forward to the next step and it is cleaning up the prefetch folder. The prefetch folder saves normally all the cached files that contain information about the environment and application that we run in our computer. 
which is completely safe to be deleted. I mentioned also at the beginning of the video that it's safe to do these steps that I'm showing you in my video because I do these kind of things every day at my work. To delete the prefetch folder, we'll go again to run. So we go at start and we search for run and it will pop up desktop up here. We click on that and here I'm going to write prefetch and then OK. So you see there are a lot of files actually. I'm going to delete all of them also. So I will just select them all by pressing Ctrl A from the keyboard and then we click with the right of the mouse and we select delete. If you will see this kind of tab again, just, just press skip because it could be a file that I'm using right now on my computer. So I'll just press skip. So you see it's left only one file from all the files that I have on prefetch. The next process that I will do is clean up the DNS. Basically, I have very often issues with the DNS during my work. And when I'm troubleshooting network connection problems, the first command that I use is ipconfig flash DNS. This will flash the DNS and may fix the network connection issues. To do that, we go at search and we search for CMD and then we open the command prompt with the right of the mouse and we select run as the administrator. And here I'm going to write ipconfig slash flash DNS. Then you will see successfully flashed the DNS resolver cache. This will help a lot in identifying problems that you may have with your internet connection or with your DNS. The last step to clear the cache of your computer is to clear the browser cache. I'm going to show you for two browsers how you can clear the cache for Google Chrome and Firefox. So in Google Chrome, we go at this sign here and we click with it. And then we go at more tools and we select clear browsing data. Then it will pop up this tab here where I have the possibility to clean up the browsing history, cookies and other site data and cached images and files. I'm just going to select for the last hour and I'm just going to clear only the cached image and files. You can also go at advanced and here you have more information on what you can erase or delete on Google Chrome. I will unselect this and also this. I'll keep cookies and other site data and I'll keep also cached image and files and then I'll press on clear data. This was the way how you can clear the cache of your Google Chrome. Now I'm going to show you how you can do that on Firefox. So this is Firefox. We come at this sign here, open the menu, and then we go at options. From here, I'm going to select privacy and security. We scroll down to here, where is the history? I have to click this button here, clear history. I'll click on that and then it will pop up this tab where I can select what I want to delete. In my case, I just want to delete cookies and cache and I'll keep the browsing and download history and then I'll press OK and the cache of Firefox is deleted. Basically, that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, these are important tasks that you want to do in your Windows computer and it will help to improve the performance of your computer and also it will clean up the space of your computer. These are the safest methods how you can clear up the cache of your computer and please follow them carefully when you watch my video. Thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe to my channel and wish to you guys all the best. Thank you.